Today's a day for celebration. We've been locked away, but we've been making preparations. Sweep away decay and all the waves of devastation. Now we're at the dawn, another day of reclamation. Preservation of the nation is a fate we waited every day of dedication. To build a haven, pave the way for generations of what's left of all tech participation. Deep beneath the waste of Virginia is a place where we could have stayed safe for millennia. But tensions get frayed after just a few decades, so we're certain that the surface ought to be a little friendlier. Shine your shoes, cause the hour is a handful. Join a hand to hand with fellow man to save the land, so I packed some dandy apples in a satchel with some blam coast. Stepped out of the gate to meet the neighbors and it's blam. Do you think that the world could ever be fixed as America? On fire, but your house will do just fine. Not to think of maybe now's a prudent time. That's the trap in the rowdy mutants flying. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to Weather Life live stream. I'm your host, Welded Life. Coming to you live from sunny my wife's craft room here in wacky and wonderfully wild while wistfully wasteful the wondrous western kentucky welcome wasteland wonders when i will wager walks willingly and wantedly to weird whereabouts when wishing worthwhile wages were working their way within reach we here with the welded live watchings when i wet your whistle with warped wells of wisdom ah it's a mouthful good morning good afternoon good evening evening depending on where you are on the spinning ball of water and dirt <clears throat> and other organic material anywho Glad to have everybody that's here going to be here. Or if you just happen to stop by because you wanted to check out some of the previous videos and you caught this one. Now you're thinking to yourself, is that? You can't really see it very well. A Nuka Cola bottle cap right there? And it's about as big as your hand? Yes, it is. Is that a Vault Tech ball cap? Well, yes, yes, it is. And you're thinking, is that a bottle of Joy? Let's see, right there. From the game We Happy Few on your shelf? Yes, it is. Have you shown us in the past a uh, Perler Bead Captain America and a Perler Bead Vault Boy? Well, yes, I have. And you're thinking, asking yourself, where would you get something like that? And where even would you get something like, I don't know, a Punisher logo, red, white, and blue magnet made of, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a plastic magnet. It's really cool. All tie-dyed and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Where would you get something like that? Well, you're going to go to Facebook.com. And you're going to type in these three words in the search bar. Boop, there it is. No. Um, Nitwits Craft House. And there you'll find a picture of a mug that said uh, a, a tumbler. One of those uh, ones that you see on Etsy that says Crystal on it. That's not her name. But it was one of the first ones she did. And she was very happy with how it turned out. So she ended up using that as her uh, profile pic. Nitwits Craft House. Like you see right there. Nitwits Craft House. Three separate words. And you will find her there. And go order something. Tell her I sent you. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if that would do me any good to tell her I sent you. Because I, whatever you do, don't ask her to knit you something. Because that's the only thing she doesn't do. Which is the hilarity of the name for business. There. Hobby. Most of her, most every penny, other than recouping the losses on materials, every bit of her money usually goes to charity and charitable works throughout the year that she and I team up on here in our local area. So, that being said, now about um, that music that I was playing when you come on, my intro music, uh, it's not actually mine. Uh, you actually would, if you if you want, you could <clears throat> to, to hear more great music like that. Um, <clears throat> what you need to do is go to YouTube, type in the Stupendium, and uh, look for this little icon right here. Oh, he's got a new one. Can't teach this. Oh boy. Like here, here's a, a little sample. A customized car insurance from Liberty Mutual. Um, all the ads. 
we can get past all the ads, let me also adjust the audio volume, the volume on this so it's not going to blow your eardrums out and it won't be too quiet. <clears throat> Skip ad. All right. You never this know video what... is not sponsored by Two Point Campus, but they did put me in the game, so fair's fair. More info about that at the oh, end. Oh, I'm of the jealous. Song. They put him in now a get game. To class. I want to be a, a game. To all musicality students, Professor Stupendium's lecture on awkward white middle class hip hop and its use as a promotional tool will be starting in the lecture hall shortly. Thank you. I messed up. Hold on. Us. Awkward white middle class hip hop and its use as a promotional tool will be starting in the lecture hall shortly. So Thank you. Welcome, students, to Two Point U. This campus we've established, Two Point U, down the path of academia and Two Points New. And there's a chance that you will leave here as employed, too. We are certain that the circumstance could use a little pop. With learning, you could turn your hand to choose the skill you want. The young mind needs a moving, and we do it with a plum. No, no one ever specifies just what the moment is from. Every course, of course, has been meticulously planned. Though standard maths and science is particularly bland. So pick from our curriculum of kitchen scripts and bands. You won't find a diploma simply digging in the sand. What's that? Uh, they will. Ah, archaeology, right, yes, we do teach archaeology. In that case, you might want to start digging for that diploma now, before it starts to compost. Would the teachers pack? Please report to the nurse for microchipping and... I mean, seriously, his, his stuff, I mean, he's, he's ridiculously clever in everything he does, and I stumbled across that video that is my intro and uh, some time back, and I said, hey, man, I I'm a small-time Twitch streamer. I would love to make make it big on here. Probably won't ever happen, but that m music gets me amped. He's got another one on here for New, uh, New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas. Let's see. What's another good one I've heard? Uh, there's one he does for uh, Among Us, which is ridiculously hilarious and awesome. Just amazing. <sighs> Let's see. We Happy Few. All of his We Happy Few ones. I haven't heard all of them, but all the ones I've heard so far are awesome. See, there's it. Right there it is, right here. That sounds awful familiar, doesn't it? I bet my comment said, I would love to. So here's this, let's see what his reply was. I would love to use this song as my intro for Fallout 76 Twitch stream. Please say yes, lol. This song gets me so amped for Fallout 76. His reply, so long as you credit. So I think we've given him his due credit for today. And uh, in all this. Uh, and his music, I want to give him full credit for his music. He's out of the UK and he's an amazing human being. And just for, for doing stuff like this, you, a lot of your content creators, especially considering how the quality of his stuff, um, usually people who put out high quality like that um, they're usually like, give me my money, give me my money. You can't touch it without my money. I want my money. I want my money. He's not like that. So, uh, I could definitely get down with that and appreciate, uh, his uh, willingness to be like, you know, just put his, he wants want to get his name out there and he's, he's very, he's, he's awesome. His stuff, I mean, it's not really, I don't see that his stuff is geared toward, uh, turn that down a little bit toward, uh, it's not really geared toward, uh. He's, like he's not gonna be right. He's not writing the intro music for a song for a, a, video, a new game coming out or something like that, and or anything. He's literally just writing like spoof music, but it's not really spoof so much as just catchy stuff. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I got a viewer. Welcome viewer to stream. We're gonna get started playing some Fallout seventy six. Uh, we were on last night. The reason I'm so late today is I was on last night uh, Mrs. with Mrs. Ziggy. For, uh, my back was hurting and I was up for a while. Uh, she was uh, doing her finishing up her 24-hour stream, which I'd been on earlier that day. Uh, I don't know if I was streaming or not, but at any rate, no, was I streaming? I don't remember. What was yesterday? Friday? No, I wasn't streaming. I got on for a little bit in the morning, just goofing. And watching her playing some Fallout 76, you know, that kind of thing. 
Cause I kept throughout the day I'd come in and check on her because I'd you know she's doing 24 hours. I can't do well. I'm narcoleptic. She's narcoleptic too. She did 24 hours, but she was <clears throat> when she'd get to that point, she'd take more of her medicine. I'm like I know what that is. Like no, you ain't supposed to take. No, it's not. That's not as prescribed, honey. You need to take one of those unless he gives you two in a day and then you spread it out. Oh, oh, oh. Is it her only saving grace? That and probably tons of caffeine off camera. So I got a new camera angle today. Hope y'all like the, uh... They say if you want to look slim, put your camera up above you so it slims your face. Which means if the camera's below you, it makes you look fatter. So here, good luck. Uh, enjoy the uh, fat welded today. We'll just try out new camera angles because I like to feature the things in my back in my background here. And now you actually get to see the Captain America shield. That's actually a metal shield up in the corner. Is it the metal shield? No, that's the plastic one. I got a metal one over here beside me. Let's see. Challenges. We need to pick a lock. Which there's a lock to pick at. Is it Camp McClintock? That's got a lock to pick. Um, oh, I know there's a lock to pick there. There's a little uh, toolbox there. We can pick the lock on. We'll go there. Probably going to need to do a run for lead today. I haven't done that in a while. We'll go down to Lucky Mole Mine. Lucky Hole Mine. Lucky, Lucky Mole Mine. Lucky Hole Mine where there are a bunch of... Uh, uh, crazy cultists. <clears throat> uh, my hand off the keys and back on it slides from W to E and now I hop out of my power armor. I should really double check when I go doing that. Let's see how many times can I do stupid things like that today. Let's 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 count let us count the waves. And there should be a possum. Nice day. <clears throat> Wait a minute. He's up there, so it means if I'm going to get anything out of him. Actually, I don't need to get anything out of him because I'm at maximum affinity with the settlers. So. Ooh, we may not have to run do a lead run. This place has a lot of potential. Well, whoever it was is. Benching about 100 or 80, maybe 80 to 100 pounds. All right, there's some lead. Those. Was it here? Where is the one? It's the ah, pick lock. There we go. Everybody forgets about this little chem box here. I need to get an addictol. I've got an addiction to alcohol that I need to get rid of. This, pick that. Never be the end. Got to prepare for even more. So another day. Still got more bricks to lay. Ugh, do you rhyme anymore? We appreciate you giving us a hand over at the foundation. Your affiliation with Crater and How else? Look here, Settler. I'm here to, if I can help get everything done. I see. I mean. <clears throat> yeah. You mean what? Yes, when you get things done like you do, you can work with whoever you please. Yeah, I don't come after the settlers, so what's it to you? I'm not furthering their agenda and selling the weapons to their vendors. Wait a minute, I do do that shit. Um, so he's got me on that point. I will sell to their vendors, but it's not like they don't sell to each other and die in the field. They're raiders. They're not skilled. Well, not all of them. No, they're not all like skilled crazies. Let's see. What, what do we got next on our uh, to-do list? Let's see. Challenges for the day. 
The legendary script. All right. Three star legendary. Participants one. <clears throat> Well, that's close. I might have a new cola in it, but I really don't care. Let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's right. I'm carrying. I was like, how did I get so heavy all of a sudden? It's like, oh yeah, I'm carrying all this. That dude's toasty. I'm not gonna help him at all. all over. Building this place up is hard work. We'll do a sugar run real quick before we head back to camp. I never seem to manage to get this done correctly. I don't think I have. Okay, so it's a Yeah, I like to remove this scene once I've got my picture of it. Let's see. Yeah, now that people have come back to this area, you ever find those magazines lying around? Oh, I was just hoping that he'd give me something for free. I love reading them. Hey, go Fallout. You're in the chat. My favorite is Grognak the Barbarian. Oh. Definitely read this issue. Sorry, I was deafened. Yeah, I'll take it. It's all good. What up, Fallout? How are you? You haven't been on here in a minute. Fallout 4. Um, trying out the legendary mod. Uh, there's all kinds of like, uh, are you talking about like the, like the different mods, like in game mods that you've got for it? Yeah. Some of those are pretty fun. Uh, have you played the, the core game yet? Yeah, a little bit of it. it got pretty uh, before, you, before, before you go modding it, I would play the game straight through as intended. Um, just because there's stuff that can get covered up and there's, you know... Where you got the fat boy? I'm down by an alpha wild monkey. But there's a lot to be fun to be had, and the lore that's in that game, you find a lot of stuff out as far as like what was going on, True. like between as far as what the military was doing. You can find those little outposts here and there, um, the rationing and stuff that was going on. As far as you know, you when you had like in World War One and World War Two, you had war ra you had people rationing, you know, uh, war rations, uh, yeah. where people you know. You wouldn't get, you wouldn't be able to go to the store. Like, you know, when COVID started and everybody's like, well, like all these, like you can only buy four cans of a certain vegetable, of any, any one vegetable, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, it was kind of like that, uh, except for, uh, you know, so people had to learn how to make things fresh. You could get a big sack of flour, you know, so you had, people had to learn how to really, um, uh, you know, make magic happen with next to nothing. As far as you know, stuff. That's why people would start grow. That's why people start growing uh, garden victory gardens and things like that, because that allowed them. Because all these these uh, all this food that they weren't getting was going to our troops overseas. So that with uh, Fallout and the Fallout universe, you had this, a similar thing with all the war with the, you know, the, the war with Chinese and everything. So. And with, with, you know, rationing and stuff like that, you still have that mob element trying to, you know, deal on the down low, all the, 
all the uh, you know well we're gonna find our find these these stashes and find ways to you know get in touch with people who are you know military who'll sell us this food then we can turn around and upsell it to people in the you know on the street but just all kinds of like little lore and stories if you pay attention to the stuff in the in Fallout Four, it's just incredible. It parallels a lot, you know, a lot of the stuff we experience and have experienced in the past here. So, so yeah, definitely go through it and, and comb the areas, search the buildings, look into those uh, terminals that are still active. You know, yeah, or go to the Corvega assembly plant now. Ah, that's a good one. A lot of fun in the Corvega. Brotherhood Steel. Which one should I join? The Raiders or Brotherhood Steel? Or well, you can't join the Raiders in Fallout 4. Oh, well. There's, the there's, there, there's Minutemen, there's Brotherhood of Steel, and there's the Institute. Uh, well, the, I mean, there's no real wrong way. Uh, so you, can get them all. Uh, you can't get to, into all of them. You're gonna have to side with. Uh, uh, you can probably you can do Minutemen the Brotherhood. I think you can still pull that off working with both of them. But Institute will not let you have anybody. There's also the railroad you'll hear about. But the railroad, railroad the Fallout Three. Um, what was her name that approaches you about the? Uh, Pinkerton and all that, not Pinkerton, uh, Zimmer, Zimmer, Dr. Zimmer, who asked yeah, you to go, uh, no, do you remember in Fallout 3 when you go to Rivet City? Yeah, you, I found some caravan guards. There's caravan guards there in the Rivet City, but when you go into uh, down where you, you take you, Dr. Lee down there in the Rivet City, if you, um, Go to Rivet City, down there where Dr. Lee is, there's a, a bald old guy there with a bodyguard. It's Dr. Zimmer. And there's a, a there's a there's a thing with him. You learn that he is actually from the Institute. Mm. So, I mean, you may have missed it, but that quest is there, and he has, says there's a runaway synth there in Fallout 3. So, I mean... Well, but, I'm heading down to Lexington now. Fun times. But there, I mean... So you have the Institute, you have... And the Railroad, uh, there's also another lady there in Rivet City that once you talk to Dr. Zimmer, that will approach you. Once you've talked to Dr. Zimmer and have a con try to have a conversation with you about... Uh, what Dr. Zimmer wants and she'll try to persuade you to go away and she'll tell you that she's from a, a group called the Railroad. Think of it like the uh, you know, United States and the Underground Railroad. Hey, Tornado Storm 360, welcome to the chat. Um, but, yeah. but she'll tell you she's from the Railroad, kind of like the Underground Railroad for, uh, from you know the 1800s here in the States, you know, trying to, get, mm -hmm. trying to rescue slaves and get them from the South to the North. Well, the railroad in this one does the railroad does the same thing for synths in the Fallout universe, and that's just common lore you should come across playing Fallout Four. Oh, we got a, a newbie. Hold on, I'm gonna give me just a second here. Definitely very new. Yeah, he's uh, he, he's new to the whole thing. So you're entirely new to 76. So um, you'll hear a lot of people say about talking about the old complaints, you know, from when the game started. Don't listen to that. Everything's changed since then, and everything's a lot better. <laughs> um, what do you? What would you like to know? I've played Fallout One through Four. Oh, you. So you've played the original Fallout One and Two, and you've played New Vegas and Three, and all the more recent ones. I say recent, but you know. What, Fallout 3 was out in what, 2004, 2008, something like that? We really need to <sighs> so you're familiar with all, he's familiar with all the lore. Alright. 
I'm definitely not. Well, it just takes stopping and reading all the terminals. Or I tell you what, what you need to do is just watch um, Oxhorn on YouTube. He's got a lot of lore videos he does. He'll do full playthroughs where he covers all the lore at every terminal. He'll stop and read every terminal. And he's got a pretty good, you know, he's got a voice made for something like that, whereas my voice doesn't really uh, suit uh, uh, being a uh, books on tape kind of guy, <laughs> audio book kind of guy. Um, but he's got a lot of the lore, and he, he makes some speculations. I like to take the lore I, I know and make speculations on it. The ghouls are very annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so having played 76, you're going to notice something um, about the Meyer Lurks and, and all that. They're not as difficult in Fallout 4 as they are in Fallout 76. What do you mean in Fallout 4? The Meyer Lurks and such. Oh, Mirelurks, yeah. Mirelurk Kings, the uh, you know all those, they're not near as difficult as they are in. Uh, in they're not as difficult in Fallout Four as they are in Seventy Six. The monster Frank Horrigan, yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know about the Enclave Frank Horrigan, the uh, super mutant in power armor. I think of him like in a sardine can because you know he's got to be crammed in that damn thing. Horgan's a big dude up in that power armor. I wonder if that's why he's so angry because he's smushed up in the uh, power armor. Huh. Ooh, five new frogs. He had a violent death. Well, yeah, of course. You know, when you you run in the um, with a military, a paramilitary group that's you know being run by the former government government of the of of a, of a country, any country, and they've been run to duress like that, they're going to invoke violence and fall to violence. So yeah, I mean, also with Frank Horrigan. You got to, I mean, a violent, I mean, you're talking about, we know that lore wise, because you have alternate endings you can f come across in the game. So we know that for a fact that he, that the, the offshore tank or offshore, offshore oil rig is destroyed. So we know that much. So, I mean, yes, technically it's a violent death. But honestly, if a nuke's gonna go off, you're gonna be vaporized. You'll never even you'll be killed. You're gonna die so fast that you won't even know that you've died. You, the the speed at which you are vaporized. Um. You you it does not give your brain time to register the pain. So, I mean, let's see, what was that? There was something else I was going to do while I was here, and I can't remember what it was. Let's check challenges, legendary script.
wish I knew that he'd give me some caps. Alright. Let's go make some caps real quick. Bro, could you imagine if the Enclave won the war? Have the Enclave won anything in the Fallout universe? Well... Here's the thing. The Enclave was already doomed to fail. Um, because the, I, they were all against anything that had been affected by radiation that caused mutations. So they're not going to uh, seek out to repopulate the Earth with any survivor because they don't consider them human anymore. Um, then you have... They, they were they were done before they started because then, then you have a limited number of them isolated on that oil rig. Even if they hadn't been blown to smithereens. Even if they hadn't been blown to smithereens in the uh, second game. They are doomed to fail anyway. Merely on the premise of... Uh, Let's see that they have a limited uh, genetics uh, supply, so to speak. They have a limited genetic supply, and they're not. It's not. It's not going to do them any any justice. Let's see. I need to get rid of this. I mean, they're not, I mean, you have a limited genetic supply. Think about Fallout 3. Was it Fallout 3? They were already discussing the um, lack of kids. You know, they weren't, the birth rate was dropping, which, which is what happens when you have that kind of genetic isolation. Uh, eventually you start seeing birth defects, uh, XXY chromosome stuff where you have people who have down, more with down, down syndrome and stuff. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that pops up when you have situations like that. And there, when you look at the timeline, now let me go back to the timeline. Uh, let me find my, I have a timeline somewhere. Is it desktop, Fallout Extra Crap? Docs. I have a Fallout Universe short timeline. I'm going to go to the desktop. We'll look at the desktop on this. Um, Fallout 1. Fallout 2 begins in 20. So you're dealing with the Great War and everything. Everything gets shut down pretty well right at 20, 2076. 20, was it 2076? Yeah. Uh, they have come close. But here's the thing. They would never win long term. All you have to, uh, This is just a war of attrition against the Enclave. The fact that um, they had Eden in Fallout 3. I mean, in Fallout 3, you hear about your, your you know, Vault 101 already being an issue with the, the genetic problems. And what, you're dealing with what? 30 years difference? That's a generation. You know, that's a generation's difference between the two. So realistically, when you're thinking about, you know, a generation's dif distant difference, you know, and there, and, and it's already going to be a problem for them, or they will have already noticed it if they have any modicum. I mean, you honestly, and you go around to the, the, on the, uh, if you go around on the oil rig, um, and look at, um, was it if you go on the old rig and you see some of the people that are there listen and you see some of the, the random stuff that pops up on their uh, uh, that they say as you walk around it should already be a clue that um, there's some serious uh, genetic issues going on with them
so. So they've already lost. Anything with them is literally just going to be a war of attrition. about protecting anything around here. <clears throat> so I'm just going to have to make ghoul suits so they can get caught up. Uh, I need to... Hell, I'm not wearing power armor. See, there's a couple around the corner there taking damage. That's okay. Gold Rush and Stubble Mutations Weekend. This should be, uh,
seven ads. Oh, dude. I've tried to fix that. I guess it keeps resetting or something on me. I don't know what's going on with that. You're not missing a whole lot. It's a whole lot of me shooting stuff and standing in one place. I get a little... Sometimes I'll wander off in thought to the game. It's... Ah! Hey, base. I noticed you were on the same server. I didn't follow you onto the server, just so you know. I'm not a creeper like that. I don't... I don't go all stocky, creepy, you know, viewer stuff, you know. Nothing back there. Let's see. Head back here. Let's see what else there is to kill. Right. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, more base, please. Yes. We all come to Rad Rumble to get fat and well overweight. And we are always successful. Uh, let's see if I can get light enough that I can fast travel. Scavenge at the basket, starve at the rest. Alright, what kind of T forty five? Scraps and stuff. Yeah, but the whole uh, enclave winning, I mean, it, the enclave is merely going to be a war of attrition. And I, and I say that with all confidence that I have no, there are no hopes, no, not a chance that any of um, the enclave, I would worry about any of the enclave. And even once they get onto the mainland with the subcells, which I would assume are other enclave bunkers and things like that that have been sealed off like a vault, so they're not receiving radiation. You know, they're not they're not contaminated the way they look at uh, outsiders and, and uh, uh, survivors of the Great War. And you're only talking about it at, at Fallout Three. A, a, 30 years, so like, what, a generation and a half at best? You know, 30 years, that's not a lot. I mean, so if they're already having problems in Vault 101, you know these other Enclave uh, bunkers and stuff like that would be having the same problem. But, of course, we don't know. Or I can't think of any lore that would suggest they were out running amok beforehand. Um, I mean, like, Obviously, they're out and about, um, or starting to get out, or have been out of the bunker, maybe a little prior to the Vault Dweller. Um, with, um, don't need that all one star um so I mean there's not a lot that you could say about them as far as like, I mean, we know they're going to be having isolation. If we know that they're going to have issues, to what degree? 
depends on their diff the, the 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 difference between how long they they shut shut off before how long they come out uh, of uh, hiding and come back into the limelight. So even still, they were at least shut off for a good good time. So I have no faith that they would last very long. Plus, you know, they haven't had time to adjust to the radiation like everybody else that's a survivor. You know, that's already kind of acclimated to the uh, ambient radiation around them. So, I don't know. I just don't see them being a, a, a threat long term or any kind of solution to any problems long term. No matter what kind of You know, how, no matter how you look at it, I mean, from a simple logic, per, logical perspective of, you know, and they're and they're and they're, and they're isolationist or racist, however you want to look at it. In that, if you're mutated and been affected by radiation, you're beneath them. So, let's see. Psycho, I don't keep a lot of these meds on me. Serve and protect. That'll do for now. Oh, uh, seven minutes ago, J. C. Lawton, four Y followed. Thank you so much. And Coyote sixty nine eighty nine followed. Thank you so much for those follows. Sorry, I missed it. I'm trying to watch that, but. It... Almost there. All right. V1 and 3. Okay. Oh, look. There's base. Man, nothing much, nothing much. Jamboree, right after. Yeah, yeah let's do that. I'm spoiling this. I hope the Mothman plucks out his eye and skull fucks him. For every time I've crashed on uh, New Vegas. Yeah. 
guess I'm in NPC mode. I can't run. Go ahead, make some jamboree. Get me some liquor. You know us rednecks, we like our shine. What's that? You know us rednecks, we like our shine. I'm gonna go do moonshiner. <laughs> I'll be out there. I gotta drop this loot. Yep, yep. And if you haven't followed more base, go follow more base. M O A R B A S S P L Z. More base, please. He's the one who just put that lurk in here. He's one of the reasons I'm a, I'm affiliated now. Tornado Storm 360. Thank you. Torn Dio Storm. Torn Dio Storm. Okay. 360. Sorry, I was saying your name wrong. Um, thank you for the uh, follow two minutes ago. He caught me uh, sleeping. Caught me asleep at the wheel again. Um, the best spot out here. Let's see. Uh, it's right here. I can see over there to shoot him. I can see kind of over here to shoot him. And I can see over here to shoot him. Now we reload and make sure everything's loaded up. Get on that. And it has begun. I'm gonna get me some liquor. Make me reload my auto grenade launcher. How dare they? Well, I think we're ready to get this jamboree going. Light the fire, moonshiners, and try not to shoot each other. Don't forget to fill the top with that sizable salamander venom. They all look so slimy and useless for anything other than moonshine.
going to do yard sales. Do you want to come? No, I'm good. All right. There we go.
attacked. Oh, it's going great, man. Da uh, welcome, uh, Daily Dose. Glad to have you. Uh, found a PA chassis. I'm level four. Uh, you can use the chassis, although you may not be able to put any power armor on there, uh, 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 Storm. Um, it will help increase your carry weight for a time. Um, so, yeah, and you can always, if you find power armor and you're not using, wanting to use the power armor frame, you can always, uh, set it out and then, um, put power armor that you find on it to reduce your carry, how much you're carrying. I mean, you wouldn't be able to wear the power armor like that with, uh, if you, if the power armor that you put on the frame is, uh, If it's uh, you're too low a level, you said you're level four, so you wouldn't be able to wear really anything on there. But you could wear the frame though, and that would at least increase. So you got more time. I'll give me a second. Oh. I'm getting off here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna finish up right here, and I'm gonna have to be on the way. Um, so you could wear the front power armor frame. You'd have to have fusion cores for it. At the very least, it increases your carry weight. Um, you could save it, and, and if you, when you come across um, different power armor, well, this is a short one today. She just, that's well, a short stream today. The wife has decided that we're going to go somewhere today, which means I need to go. Uh, uh, thank you for the follow daily dose uh, ten minutes ago. Um, yeah, that's how attentive I am. Ten minutes to realize that you had followed. Uh, but thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna not, I, don't, I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow. I will definitely try to be on on Monday for sure. I'm going to try to. Yeah, I'm not going to promise anything. Uh, gulper smacker. Get rid of that. So, um, yeah, let's see. So that's where I'm going to leave y'all today. Um, try to be on tomorrow. Sorry, I couldn't have been on longer today. Thought that was going to be the case, but the wife apparently has other plans. Like, but if you don't need carry weight and you don't want, and you want to pick up power armor for the future, you can always... Put the power armor frame out in front of you. Load, because it's once you've got into it, it belongs to you. 
you can load onto it any power armor pieces you find. That way, it only weighs the 10 pounds that the power armor frame weighs. It's a little exploit. Not really an exploit, but a little thing that a lot of us do. Uh, especially myself, um, because when you look at my stash box, I have a lot of power armor. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, no, 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 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, what's the strangler heart? Twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty three, thirty four. I'm wearing a set of power armor. So thirty four sets of power armor. It will reduce. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just gonna fall in love with collecting power armor. I'm terrible. So. That being said, y'all have a wonderful day. I, I, y'all didn't even get to see my my stash box. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. That's not it. That's not all. That's not it. No. All right. I have thirty four sets of power armor. One. See, a lot of some of these are just like pieces of power armor. Others are actual power armor. Anything listed like that, Ultra, Warhead Ultrasight, that's a set. I have 34 sets, including what I'm wearing. So Now you've seen all you need to see. Now we can say goodbye. Now I can say fare thee well, and I'll catch y'all next time.